uh, elated, um, fantastic. Uh, like I, like a win is a win, you know. I, I was looking for like a submission. I was looking for more of a knockout finish. So um, I'm kind of sour about that. Uh, sour about like missing weight. So like that really took a little bit of my joy away. But all or less, you know, I got the finish. So I couldn't be uh, any much happier. You brought the weight. You were so close to making weight. What was, what was the, 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 the disconnect there? What happened? Uh, at the like uh, we went to 24-hour fi uh, fitness. And um, they had they had they had a scale there, and we was thinking like it's gonna be like a pound off, but it almost it, it happened to be like a pound and a half off. So I'm coming back thinking like, all right, I'm at 37 on this scale. So when I get to a lighter scale, like it'll be a pound difference. So when we when we got back uh, over by the hotel to do the official weigh-in and everything, um, I stepped on the scale that said 130 like 138. So I was almost like two pounds over. So. Uh, I jumped back in the sauna box for like uh, for like 30 minutes, and um, I came out, and I'm thinking like, okay, I should be somewhere close. I was still like sweating good and everything, and um, I got to the scale. I was like, oh, you still you still uh, one over. So I, I was kind of pissed about that, but you know, like in most situations, every time I ever like travel to a USC event, like it's always been a good scale at the gym that we were like cutting weight at. So I never had to worry about that up until this point. So. It's a lesson learned there. Montel, did the craziness of, of the week of shuttling from Vegas to LA kind of play into that a little bit? The fact that you guys weren't, maybe didn't have the schedule mapped out as well as you could have if, if the fight was just in Vegas? Yeah, that, that, that played a part, but at the end of the day, like, you're a professional. Like, you got to be prepared for any curveball to come your way, you know? So, like, I, I wouldn't blame that. Like, that's just another excuse, man. I, like, I fucked up. On the broadcast, uh, they said that Brian told you he was going to be sending you the 20% forfeited back is that did that happen yeah uh, he, he told me uh, after the fight like he's gonna get my money back so I don't know man thank that guy hopefully nice he didn't guy. change his mind now that you're choking out <laughs> he told me after the oh, fight after, so after you know, the fight he said that okay there you go. hopefully you know he, he amended his words so can't miss something you never had when, about the fight. It seems like once he got him down with that elbow, it seemed like that was really the beginning of the end. Is that what you said to as well once he got him down? And how, what were you thinking like once he had him down? Uh, once I dropped him, uh, I thought like you know like uh, a cat is most dangerous on his back. So like I'm thinking in my head like all right, I'm trying to like I'm trying to continue the attacks, but I got to attack smart. Like I don't want I don't want to rush it and then I get my momentum stopped by getting caught in the arm bar or triangle. Or something like crazy, you know. So it, I just took my time, you know, and um, I ain't commit no fouls, so that's good. <laughs> and then what? Contender series, I, I had a trifecta, man. I had all three, so like I didn't want to do that again. So I just take my time, you know, and look at what's presented, you know. And this is a big win. I mean, he he's got a win over former champion Henry Morrow. I mean, you know, he's been in there with some big names. You know, where do you feel this leads you? I don't know, man. Probably on the up and up, you know. Like, I, I'm not going to worry about that, man. I'm just going to get back to training, man. Like, I, I'm, I'm not going to worry about anything I can't control, man. I'm just going to keep doing what I, what I need to to win, you know. When did you know that you had, you had that choke in pretty good? Uh, I, I, I heard him, like, muffle a little bit. Like, he's like, like, you know, you hear, like, that last breath. Yeah, yeah. But you can't be fooled by that. You can't, you can't be fooled. You got to, like, keep applying that consistent pressure. You know, you can't just try to burn your arms out because what if you didn't like let go of that? No, I gotta fight this guy for the rest of the round with tired arms. So I just kept that consistent pressure, you know, holding that pressure on there, you know. And when I felt that, that's when I turned it on. You know, I'm like, this guy's done. Were you were you and your family affected at all, or, or friends and teammates affected by the by the change, hotel rooms, flights, any, anything kind of messed you up a little bit? No, uh, usually usually I don't like traveling with like family or friends because it like I feel like it's it's a part of my responsibility. To make sure like everything's like right. all right, they're taken care of. They're not like missing anything, or if anything happens while they're here, like I feel like I'm responsible because I told them to come out here. So I, like I don't want to like add anything to that investment on my part, mentally or physically. So I usually just tell them if you travel, you travel on your own. It's not it's not gonna be like no real contact with me. You know, I'm gonna be focused on the fight and just dialed in. So and I'm not that nice when I'm I'm cutting weight at all. So <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, I'm a nice guy, but, like, you know, when you don't got no carbs, you do turn into a real piece of shit, you know, so I just, you know, I want them to remember me as a, you know, a positive person, so, you know, I just keep them away, you know. Any concern about the weight that you or just a one-off, you know, just happened? No, man, it, it was just timing, man. 
timing, man. Timing in the scale, man. Not having, you know, a good scale. Like, it's one thing to, it's one thing to like, just, oh, just miss weight. You miss weight because of this, because of that, you know. Like, I just wasn't prepared. I didn't, like, we got a scale, but we don't travel with it. Because, like I said, the scale's always here, you know. Wherever we at, it's always a good scale, you know. So, you know where you at, like, okay. Coming out of, like, setting us on for 15 minutes, you come out, okay. We, we lost a pound and a half, or we lost a pound. Okay, now we can schedule it out with the time frame given. We don't, when you don't have anything that's accurate, it's hard to, you know, to gauge where you're at. So it was, it was my fault. Next time we're going to travel with our own scale. Yeah, the, the, the crazy thing about that, man, is like, like, like I, I was a high school wrestler, man. So like, some people think they look at the record, they think like, oh, this guy's all striking. Let them think that, man. They get in there, it's, it's, it's gonna be something different, you know. Like whatever tool I need for a day, I'm, I'm gonna take that one out. So I pride myself in being that guy that's not one dimensional, that's not a one trick pony, that's ready for any and everything. So let them keep thinking that. Let them keep watching that tape and thinking like, oh, this is the same guy we gonna see. Good luck. No, man. I'm here for everybody, man. Like, I'm not just going to say, oh, I specifically want this guy or that. I want them all, you know? To be the best, you got to beat the best. You got to, you know, come one, come all. So whoever, you know, don't make no difference. <laughs>